in the season, just you know, losing to St. Francis. You know, you can tell they had a lot of kind of fire, and um, they came out, they played well. But uh, you, know, you can't take away the great season that St. Francis had, and and uh, they got a lot of young players coming back next year, and and uh, the sky's the limit, it really is. What sort of advice do you give to Pearson? going through this hardship in his freshman season, obviously knowing the trials and tribulations that you've gone through. I mean, he lost one game this year, so it's, it's like he, he's got no, uh, you know, real controversy. That he's, but, you know, now coming back, you know, going into the offseason, he's got to be a leader and uh, you got to keep those guys motivated, keep them hungry. I think things like this are, are blessings in disguise when you lose because you come back hungrier next year. You know, I was I was in the same position a few times. Um, so he'll learn a lot about himself and he'll uh, you know, really become a leader and, and I'm sure a lot of those guys will. And uh, the, the key thing is just to stay hungry and never get content. Um, so what have you been up to recently? We know that you stepped away from the NFL, yeah. but what have you been up to? Well, I still train. I still train. I stay in shape just in case uh, the NFL were to call, but I actually work at a roofing company in DeKalb, Illinois, which uh, is where Northern Illinois University is. So I live just down the street and uh, work in sales and, and I love life, you know, stress-free. And uh, I was actually just in Detroit today. I came back from the MAC championship yesterday. So it's two tough losses for the Harnish family this week. <laughs> and then uh, got to ask you what you think about Matt Hasselbeck's performance for and oh. Or no. <laughs> yeah, you know, Matt's funny. I, I texted him uh, earlier le this week and I said, Matt, man, I, my heart is so full. I'm so happy for you guys and the team and knowing there's a lot of turmoil going on, all that kind of good stuff. And and uh, and he texted me back. He said, hey, thanks a lot. He's like, if you got any advice, I would love it. I said, advice? I'm like, you know, don't don't fix it if it's not broke. He's done a phenomenal job and, and I'm not giving him any advice. And, and I just I love watching an old man like himself come through and in the clutch and, and, and really, you know, help save this season. So uh, wish them nothing but the best.